Well, after a fairly intensive bushwhack, I've gotten to the edge of the uh, third meadow, the largest, and uh, it's got a rise. I can't see what's going on, but before I explore that, I need a break and I hydrate, and then we'll go. You'll have to wait. I need shade. Now, lots of hiking, lots of grass for rotundifolia. No utricularia, could be here hiding. No darling tongue. So, what does it mean that I can't find uh, darling Tony here? It could be it was a small population and things changed cattle, hydrology, whatever, they went extinct. It could be a small introduced population that just didn't have the conditions right for it to survive over the long term. Maybe some somebody's toy experiment which they didn't document. But for whatever reasons, a complete search of this this um, this uh, these three big meadows I haven't turned up any darling Tony anywhere. I've got one more darling Tony meadow to look for. And I can see if I can look for it and find it over there. I don't know though. Last side of the day, this nice little field with Drosera rotundifolia on these Drosera logs, little logs that decay and support Drosera rotundifolia. No utricularia, no Darlingtonia, but still a lovely little place. So I was looking at a map and I noticed that that Darlingtonia site is within about a hundred yards of some campsites for a state campground. All the more reason to suspect that, that was probably people that like to come to this place and brought some darling Tonia with them. Set up a few cloning colonies and then there you go. But really, who knows? Could have been a bird. Butte County, signing off.